Coffee Chat Day 19. Grab yourself a coffee, sit down, enjoy the vibe. Oh, I need to get a lighter. So guess what finally arrived in the mail today? The Bible. So, you know, from now on there will be an extra video coming up. Uh, you know, basically just reading through a chapter each day. Uh, apologies if you have uh, notifications on for this channel because you are gonna get flooded with just notifications. Like, I'm gonna be uploading three videos a day at this point. So, you know, my bad, my bad, but you can just turn off the notifications, it's fine. Just got back from the gym. And, uh, turns out I might need to take the wrist thing more seriously because it was killing me today. Like, I had to stop the workout pretty much after I did bicep curls, which is, like, usually the second exercise I do. So, you know, we're, we're suffering a bit, but I'm sure it'll be okay. I'm sure it'll be grand. in order for new shoes so pretty excited for when those get here in like a month but you know it'll help elevate my height since they're platform converts so it's gonna help me elevate my height from 5'7 to hopefully 5'8 and I'm not doing this because I'm embarrassed of my height I'm doing it because these trousers that I'm wearing uh, they're a little bit too long and with like just the regular old flat converse I kind of like I Kind of drag like the back of the trousers underneath my heels And I really don't want to ruin these trousers because I actually really like them. I can't tell like oh That's why it's foggy on oh, Just got a little something on your face there. I think that made it worse Actually, I mean, I don't know what, like, this light's about, <laughs> but hey, that's just gonna be there. Uh, yeah, no, I think that cleared it up a bit. It was a little bit foggy, and, like, you know, all the light was kind of, like, I don't know, like, it wasn't dispersing right. Like, it looked very dull, so I hope that just fixed it up. I, I, <laughs> that light looks insane. Like, what the hell? It's not even that bright outside. <laughs> so yeah, I guess we have God's light shining upon us right now. So yeah, uh, day 19 of doing this. That's pretty crazy. Like, I really wasn't expecting to get to day 19 of... Well, I was expecting to get to day 19, but like, not this quick. It feels like I just started the series like yesterday. So it feels very weird knowing that we're nearly three weeks in. And it feels even weirder knowing that some of these videos actually popped off. Like, I don't know why these popped off. I wasn't expecting the coffee chats to be, like, the big ones. I was expecting, like, the longer videos to be the big ones. But, hey, like, if, if this is, like, a recipe for success that I have just accidentally stumbled upon... I'm pretty happy with that. Like, that's pretty sick. Uh, we're at 60 subs today. So, hell yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, I feel like I keep bringing up, like, YouTube analytic type shit. And I really don't want to because I want to maintain, like, the just casual you're sitting down for a coffee sort of vibe. But I, I have to mention it. Like, that's just crazy to me. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you all very much for that. And I was expecting to hit 60 around September of this year. Like, that was my original anticipation. Not even, like, not even September, more like, 
more like December. That was when I was expecting to hit 60. And we're here already. Like, that's just insane to me that the channel's growing at such a fast pace over the past few days. So, again, thank you all for that. Uh, I hope you are getting some sort of enjoyment out of these videos because I... I mean, I personally don't really get it, but maybe that's just because I'm the one recording it. But if other people are, like, actually enjoying this sort of stuff, and that's pretty sick. Like, that's what I wanted to do. Like, I wanted people to be able to enjoy what I put out there. Well, you know, I, as I was saying before, I was really cut off by my phone storage filling up. Actually, I don't even remember what I was saying. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, like, I don't know, there's, there's not really much else to talk about besides what I've already talked about, or then like, you know, it's, I, I suppose what I'm trying to do here is just like, I have bigger plans, you get me? Like, I don't want to just do YouTube, I want to do more than that, like, I, like, I want to build communities, like, real-life communities. Like, I want to build towns for the people that are here and, like, for the people that need, like, homes. Like, I want to do a lot of good in this world. And I'm really hoping that through doing this, I'll be able to, you know, like, get myself that strong foundation to build off and then I can, like start to really like just make a positive change in this world because that's like what the goal is here I hope like the people watching this like I hope you understand that like I hope you understand what I mean by like this isn't the end goal like that's I don't want to ruin what we sort of have going on here like you know we're a small channel obviously but I don't want to ruin like that sort of casual like friend to friend almost sort of vibe that we have going but I hope you understand that I do have like very big intentions for this channel and I want to take it like really far like I want to bring this to like another level I mean obviously it's gonna take a few years like I've already accepted that but maybe it'll take a lot less years than I thought because again we've been growing really fast But I don't want to lose that, like, casual sort of vibe. Like, I want this to be like having a chat with your friend. Like, I've said that many times before in these videos. That's exactly what I want these videos to be. I'm just like reflecting on the first few coffee chats like back before I really solidified the format like it was weird because I would just be talking about my other videos and like the other stuff that I want to do like I'd be talking about the uh, advice style videos and I'd be like writing down ideas while recording myself having a coffee and like talking about the ideas and I don't really do that anymore just because well, mainly because I already have most of the advice videos for, like, the next month pre-recorded. And those are going up, like, to give you an idea, I recorded those around the middle of March. And now it's the beginning of April. And I am only halfway through, well, excuse me, I'm only halfway through the videos that I pre-recorded. And then these are like a day in advance, and the gospel, not the, 
I suppose they're kind of gospel, but like, you know, the Bible videos, those are being recorded on the day. I kind of want to get like a day ahead on the Bible videos too, but I probably won't. Like, I, I don't really know if I want to because doing them every day like that gives me like a reason why I need to pick up the Bible. And like, you know, I shouldn't need any other reason other than getting closer to God, but I suppose it's nice having that extra motivator. Like, the thing that I'm trying to do, I'm doing... The thing that I'm trying to do with the Bible videos gives me a good reason to read the Bible. And it gives me a good reason to connect with the Word and, like, dig deeper into it. And it's like, I really hope that other Christians that follow this channel are able to, like, really sink their teeth into that. And, like, are able to give their thoughts in the comments and, like, we'll be able to start a discussion around it. And we'll be able to, like, really dive deeper into the word together. And then, you know, we have these videos where it's just, like, anyone's welcome. Just sit down, have a coffee. That's, like, the basic requirement for these videos. Just be a coffee drinker. And then... You know, the advice videos, those are just there for anyone who needs them. And I'm pretty happy with that format. And again, I said this yesterday, but the longer videos want those to be a form of art in a way. Like, not to sound pretentious, but I want them to be like just these works that I can really give my all into. And like really create something that's just big. I guess, like, bigger than me. Give everything I have into those videos. And then a little bit more. And see what it does. And obviously I still need to, like, bring guitar and, like, music and all and art. Like, more artsy stuff into these videos. Because, like, that's something that I really want to do. I want these to be very authentic. When, like, very... I want people to come here and feel cozy. And feel welcome. And feel like... You know, it... I want this place to be a safe place for people. And I know that, like, being a Christian... Really... Like, in the modern day, being a Christian, a lot of people will tend to think of you as being very exclusionary of, like, certain groups. Like, especially, like, LGBT members, right? Like, a lot of people expect Christians to be very exclusionary of them. A lot of people expect Christians to be very exclusionary of other religions and, like, all that sort of stuff. And... I don't really know how to describe this without it sounding bad, but we still love the person. We love the person. That's who we love. Like, no matter who it is, we as Christians have a duty to love that person because we know that Christ, like, dwells in them and that Christ died for them. And it's just like, you know, we don't necessarily, we don't necessarily agree on, like, the ideas, but we still want that person to be there. We still want to give our love to that person, and we still want to, like, be kind and giving to them. And I really hope, like, you know, modern Christians don't forget that, because... I see a lot of Christian accounts on, like, Instagram, sort of, not even, like, not even, like, the creators on Instagram, like, the Christian creators, those tend to be very nice and very welcoming, but I see, like, a lot of Christians in, like, comment sections being very exclusionary and being very hateful, and it's, like, that's not what was preached to us, that, that's not what was taught to us.
and we have a duty to love others in the way that we love Christ. Because Christ does dwell in everyone. But yeah, I know, it's like, I don't know, it's a, it's a whole bucket of worms, right? Like, trying to figure out how to truly be a Christian. I still haven't figured it out. I don't have all the answers, obviously. Like, you know, I'm, I'm a very young Christian in that I've only really been, like, a believer of the faith for, like, six months now. So I'm still very new to it. I'm still trying to find my way through it. I think I'm doing well. Like, I think I'm making good progress. But I know, like, I'm not perfect. And I know, like, I still have a long journey ahead of me before I can really feel like... Excuse me. Before I can really feel like I fully understand what God wants of me. But, you know, like, I... I like to think that what I want to do is what God wants of me. Because I want to do what I want to do from a good place. Like, I, I really just genuinely want to help people. But I also know that in doing that, and in doing it especially in this way, I'm leaving myself very open to, like, falling into greed and, like, you know, like, trying to, not, I know, like, I don't want to chase the world. I don't want to chase the things of this world. But I feel like in doing it, like, in doing what I believe is my divine purpose, I might accidentally fall into, like, chasing the world. And that's sort of, like, that's something that I'm sort of scared of. And... I'm hoping that by the time I get to the point where I'm able to do what I want to do, that I'll be very faithfully sound. Like, I'll be very strong in my faith, and I won't fall. But I also understand that even getting to that point, I might fall. So, I know, it. it, it is what it is. I don't know what the future holds for me. But... You know, I'll probably be fine. Coffee's done. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. That's all I have to say today. Keep running when no one else is.